Hello and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual £1 million. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Great, you're having a go at the entertainment questions. Fifteen of them stand between you and a virtual million pounds. The first five of those questions can bank you a guaranteed thousand pounds. Take a look at question number one. Well done, you've got the right answer. A nice easy question for two hundred pounds. Well done, two out of two for you. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. You're right, well done. Question number four is for 500 quid. Uh, you wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? And it's a good job you didn't. You've got the right answer. This is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question number five. You've given me the right answer. Well done. That's what I like to see. Five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that £1,000 into at least 32000 Here comes question number six. Now, remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. Is that your final answer? You just won £2,000. It was the right answer. Very well done. You've yet to touch any of your three lifelines and a correct answer here will win you £4,000. Lots of luck. Here comes the question. You've just won £4,000. Well done. Oh, I like games like this. You're on £4,000 and you have all three of your lifelines still intact. You are just three questions away from the next milestone. And the first of those questions is worth £8,000 and is coming up now. Aha! Audience, time for you to get involved and help win us a bit of cash. Have a look at the question and vote A, B, C or D on your keypads or vote now. Well, it's not often we get as conclusive a result as that when asking the audience. I'd go with A if I were you. OK, you risk £3,000 and you were right to risk it. You now have £8,000. You're just two correct answers away now from guaranteeing yourself £32,000. The first of those two questions is worth 16,000. Now, you do not have to play this if you don't want to, but 
You do have a 50-50 and a phone a friend available to help you find that correct answer. Best of luck, here it comes. Okay, that is your final answer. And it's the right answer. You've just won £16,000. Right, this is a very serious moment. You have £16,000. If you do get the next question right, you'll definitely be leaving with no less than £32,000. Give me a wrong answer, though, and you have to take a drop of 15000 Not good. I really do wish you the very best of luck. Here comes question number 10. OK, I won't keep you in suspense. It's the right answer. You just won £32,000. Right, you can relax a bit now, mainly because you cannot lose anything by giving me the wrong answer to the next question. If you give me a correct answer, I'll double your £32,000 to £64,000. And if you don't know the answer, you still have a 50-50 available, or you can phone one of your friends for a bit of help. The very best of luck. Here comes question number 11 of a possible 15. If this is the right answer, you've just won £64,000. It is the right answer. Well done, you're doing really well. £125,000, it's a lot of money and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the £32,000 you have just won if you do give me a wrong answer though at this point. Here comes question number 12. OK, let's see if going 50-50 will help. The computer is going to take away two wrong answers and leave you with just the two to choose from. Your chances of winning £125,000 are simply 50-50. And you picked the right answer. Well done. Did you really think when you started out that you get to the point where I would be asking you a question for £250,000? Probably not, but it is about to happen. Please, please do not give me a wrong answer and phone a friend if you aren't totally sure of your answer. Let's see what happens as we look at question number 12. You're playing for very big money here, so is that your final answer? Right, this is serious business. You've just decided to play on a question for a quarter of a million pounds. I can tell you. It's the right answer. You are a quarter of a millionaire. Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual cheque for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question. Right, this is a very big moment in the game. Are you confident that's the answer you want to go for? You just risked £218,000. You had a quarter of a million. You now have 
half a million. Amazing. You are one of our biggest ever winners. Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines. But you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments time, we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. Winner of Pop Idol in 2002, what is the title of this singer's first number one single? Light My Fire, Evergreen, Switch It On, Who Am I? You need a bit of help from one of your friends then, no problem, could be a good move. Pick somebody to help you out. I'm not surprised you've had to ring someone to help you with this question. I have no idea what the answer is though. Sorry. Well, that was no help at all, was it? Are you gonna have a guess? And I have to check that you are really gonna play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you've decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. You're a winner, fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?